everyone, it's Christina from Christina's Crafts, and I am gonna show you how to make this dish scrubby. So this is what you're gonna need to make your scrubby. You are going to need netting. Um, you're gonna have it 10 yards here, and it's gonna be about three and a half inches wide. You are going to need a nine millimeter hook a stitch marker, and a pencil with an eraser. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna leave a longer tail because you're gonna need to tie the ends. All right, you're gonna put your crochet hook on, pull it, and then you're going to chain two. So one, two. I just want to say cutting this netting is really, really hard to try to keep it in one continuous roll. You're probably going to need two people to do it. All right, so then you're going to put six single crochet in that first chain that you made right here. So there's one. And what you're going to want to do is you want to put a stitch marker in that first single crochet so you don't lose your spot. And then two, three, four, just kind of move that tail out of the way, five, and six. All right, and then you're just going to pull this in to tighten it up. Okay, so you have six single crochets in that first chain. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put two single crochets in each stitch around. So you take your stitch marker out, and that's where you're gonna put your first two single crochets. Now, this is actually very hard to crochet with. What you wanna do, I tend to crochet really tight, so I'm trying to loosen it up a bit, kind of pulling the stitch up as I put it out, see so kind of pulling it. Oh, and then also I forgot, you wanna put a stitch marker in that first single crochet that you did so you don't lose your place. So you're gonna put two single crochet in each of the six all the way around. So you're gonna have a total of 12 stitches at the end. All right, I have 10, so I got two more to do on the, in this last one. All right, so I have 12. All right, then take your stitch marker out and you're gonna put a single crochet in this first one And then you're gonna do another single crochet in the second one. As you can tell, this is very hard to work with, but these scrubbies are awesome. All right, and then you got one single, one single, then in the third one, you're gonna put two single crochets. So um, I always start off my I'm saying by I didn't make this pattern. Unfortunately, I don't really make patterns. I just crochet, but I'm not exactly sure where this pattern came from. My mom has actually been making these scrubbies for years. So um, the pattern I got was from her. <laughs> She's the one who taught me how to make these. Um, okay, so you did one, one, and then two, and then you're gonna continue that pattern. So one single crochet, one single crochet, and then two in the next. Two. All right, so then I'm gonna do a single, single, double, or two single crochets in that one. 
And that's the pattern all the way around. So let's count it. You should have 16 at the end of this round. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. All right, so then the pattern after this is pretty simple. So take your stitch marker out, put a cro single crochet in the next one. All right, and then stick your, stick your stitch marker in. And then what you're gonna do is you are just going to continue to just single crochet all the way around. like this and remember try to keep your stitches a little looser because otherwise it's too hard to get the hook in there and then you're working way too hard trying to push this through and this netting is actually very rough on your hands as it is so all right so I am gonna go ahead and single crochet all the way to the stitch marker all right, I got one single crochet done all the way around. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do three more rounds of just single crochet. And I always keep my stitch marker in after the first single crochet, just so I know where I started. So I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do single crochets around three more times. And then I will show you how to start closing it up. All right, I have my four rows of single crochet done. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this tail out of my way because I'm gonna need to close this hole up. So I'm just gonna stick this through here, wrap it around my hook and pull it through. Get that out of the way. All right, so then what you're gonna do to close this up is you are going to skip stitches. So. You're gonna skip this one and single crochet into the next. Skip and then single crochet into the next. And this is gonna close up your scrubby. So just keep skipping and going to the next one until you get right to the end. All right, as you can see, I'm just about there. So this gets a little tough here towards the end to get your crochet hook in when it gets small like this. All right, so I could probably put one more in right here right there all right and that's about it it's pretty much closed up there at that point all right so what you're going to do is you're going to finish off pull it through all right then you're just going to kind of pull on your scrubby flatten it out a little bit then what you're going to do is you're going to take your hook in the opposite side over here slip it through over here and you're going to grab this end and pull it all the way through to the side of the scrubby all right and then i actually want these closer together so i'm going to come over and grab this tail because what i'm going to do is i'm going to tie these two tails together so we make sure that it doesn't come apart so i'm just going to put a couple knots in here And then this is what I use my pencil for. I wish I had a pencil with a better eraser, but these ends just get tucked inside the scrubby. You could probably weave it through with your crochet hook, but that would take way more time. It's easier just to shove the ends inside of it. Just like that. I'll put the other one in. Just kind of disperse it around the scrubby 
so you don't have one big chunk on one end of it. Otherwise, it'll be puffier in one spot than the other. All right. I'm just kind of put it there. And you got a puppy scrubby. And that's how you make them. Well, um, thanks for joining me. Um, I hope that this helps you learn how to crochet a scrubby. And also, um, if you don't want to do it, I will actually be selling these on my Etsy site, um, Blue Ocean Craft Goods. So if you go to Etsy and you type in Blue Ocean Craft Goods, my scrubby will come up um, within the next week or two. I want to get some made to put on my Etsy site. Um, I guess that's about it. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Bye.